Hi guys, I'm Stevie, and I've never told my coming out story before. Well, I grew up in a really religious place, and I was a little Bible thumper myself. And I was like the person that in Sunday school people would copy off of me and like my answers, and I like studied the Bible. And because I'm me, and fucking love arguing and debates, um, I would get into religious debates with people at school. I remember always arguing with people that were anti-gay and used the Bible, and I remember like making all these arguments about how Jesus never said anything against gay people, so if you eat shrimp, then you can't hate gay people. Like, little 13-year-old me. I was a really late bloomer, and I never was really interested in boys, and then, People just called me a lesbian a lot. I would date a bunch of boys, but I wouldn't kiss them. And they would break up with me for it. And I literally could not care less that they broke up with me. And then I would see all of the girls in my school be so heartbroken by boys breaking up with them or boys not giving them attention. And I never gave a shit. And so I thought I was a sociopath before I thought I was a lesbian. Like the idea of gay, because gay equals bad, according to Christianity, and I'm not bad. So the idea that I could be gay never even crossed my mind. The idea that I could be a sociopath was more realistic to me than the idea that I'm not attracted to men. So then I started dating a boy and he told me what orgasms were. I was like, can anyone have one? <laughs> and he said, well, boys can have them by themselves. They can do it to themselves. And girls can do it with boys, but girls can't do it to themselves when they're alone. And I was like, you are an authority figure on orgasms because you just told me what one was and I'd never heard of it before. So I believe you. And when I was 19, I had such a sweet, wonderful boyfriend. But I told him what the guy had told me. I was like, yeah, it's kind of weird that like you can do it when you're alone, but I can't. And he goes, that's bullshit. You can do it by yourself. And I was like, really? And I remember the first thought that crossed my mind when he told me that girls could orgasm by themselves. My first thought was, why do we need boys then? So then I went to college and me and my boyfriend broke up. And I had this Philosophy 101 class, and there was this boy in class who we would pass notes back and forth and make fun of our professor. But I never really talked to him face to face. And then I did. She was like, yeah, I'm a girl. And I was like, cool, 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 cool. That's, that's totally normal. And I had a crush on her. And then I started hanging out with her more, and I was like, fuck, I have a crush on a girl but I'm not a lesbian. Like, I'm so straight. What am I gonna do? I, I can't have sex with her. I would never enjoy it. And then we had sex and I came out the next day. So my idea of falling in love as a kid was not this like romantic idea. It was plans. I was like, I will be pregnant and married by 18. I will have three children by this age. When I pictured who I would marry, it was like a nameless, faceless man outline in a suit. Now, the way that I picture falling in love and meeting someone I wanna share my life with and make plans with has changed so much. When I was envisioning marrying a man, I was adopting what I was told I should want and what I was put here on this earth to do, make babies and be a good wife to my husband. And being set free from that, it's almost hard to even remember what it felt like to think those things. Because I'm not here to make someone else happy, I'm here to make myself happy. Whether the person I marry is in a suit or a dress, she will be a woman. And the joy that that idea gives me is way more than any feeling little Stevie had picturing marrying a male figure on a white horse. You can try out this thing, or this thing, or this thing. And since this is a Stevie video, obviously we're gonna talk about sex toys. Thank you to this video's sponsor, adamandeve.com.
adamandeve.com. Technically, adamandeve.com sponsored my coming out story, so how cool is that for them? Kegel eggs that glow in the dark. Can we just... They're glow in the dark, I can't. Look, they're so pretty. AdamandEve.com is really great, especially if you're trying to figure out what you're into because they have really good prices. And if you use my code Stevie, you get 50% off any one single item, plus free shipping to the US and Canada. Or this thing, or this thing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Or this thing, or this thing, or this thing. It's called a Fingo. Who doesn't want to try a, something called Fingo? Oh, this is just a tiny, tiny fraction of what they have on their site. So go to adamandeve.com and type in my name, Stevie. Again, my name is Stevie. So thanks for watching my coming out story. Coming out for everyone is so different and you should never feel pressured to come out when you're not ready or to do it in any way that's not you. For those of you that are out, hey bebas. To those of you that aren't yet, we'll be waiting here for whenever you're ready.